Alright guys, V Pirate here, bringing you my first impressions of the Division closed beta. So I got to play this on the 31st, a bit late, Ubisoft sent me the key quite late, but the beta actually got extended a few days, so I got to play roughly about 4 to 6 hours of the closed beta. So this is not going to be a review, I am just going to give you my thoughts of issues that I faced within the beta and general performance um, issues that I had as well as why I think the division may suck because I actually think it will suck and not deliver on what it promises so so to get started the beta lasted about maybe two hours at most um, of gameplay there's only one mission main mission to do and it is very lacking in content uh, for a beta I mean, it is very fishy that there is nothing, the only thing you can do is play through one mission and then do a side objective for that mission. You can't unlock any more of the terminals, you can unlock two terminals, um, only one you're able to properly use. You can't craft, there's a crafting system, you find craftable items but you cannot craft them. It's very lackluster and it's one of the main things that may have a problem with the division because if they wanted this to test it, if Ubisoft really wanted to test it, would have a lot more to, to you know to play around with and this is one of the issues I had. I mean they were just like fisting us with pre-order contents weeks before like pre-order the game and you'll get into the closed bay and they just kept fisting us with it and to me it, it, it is a bit fishy that they started promoting all the pre-order bullshit a couple weeks before the beta was going to come out but yeah it's my first big issue you know you uh, there's really really very little to talk about because of very lackluster stuff that they gave us to play around with apart from that uh the division has been under fire for actually having a graphical downgrade so they have downgraded their graphics on the division what we saw at e3 is not what we are seeing right now so there was supposed to be things like dynamic global illumination so this is you know where if a train were to pass above a puddle would be able to see the train as it moves through the water this doesn't happen reflection on glass doesn't show the character pavement is static the shine is static i mean in all honesty it's not a big deal for me anyway but to note that ubisoft has done this with games in the past far cry 4 watchdogs they've done this so i don't understand why they did it but you know the recommended requirements is a gtx 970 and not everyone has you know the kind of mid-range to slightly top tier graphics card so for them to downgrade it slightly may be a bit more advantageous because they're opening up their market to uh, people who can actually run the game even though you will need a gtx 970 to be running the game at high not maxed out at high well not maxed out from the beta as i saw but you'll definitely be able to run it at the high uh, quality uh setting the next thing on the list is game performance game performance was a big issue for me after i downloaded the drivers there was a bit of a slight stabilization in fps but mostly fps stays roughly about 50 to 60 and it will go to up to 80 but it's very very weird um even indoors you will get low settings when there's not many objects around or anything no explosion so this is definitely an issue they need to fix with fps the other big issue that i have is object popping now object popping in a beta doesn't really like annoy me too much because you know it's a beta they will fix it but the issue is object popping usually you know if i'm playing the beta of a uh, open world and, and i see object popping very far away then i know that you know they can try to fix that not many games try to fix that but object popping in the beta was very close up you can be indoors and stuff about five meters away from me will load in whilst you're in cover and fighting and it's very very annoying to see that happen 
for me anyway so yeah that's two graphical things i saw that they need to fix apart from that they have really nice graphical options available to us they have great ui options you can completely customize your ui that's very very nice you know there's free tiers you can go into for your character there wasn't much you could do with the tiers and explore the tiers on the beta so i don't know if they're going to expand on it but it seems very little of the rpg character element that they've added apart from that there's also no loading screens the only loading screen you will have is when you first boot up the game and log in and start playing and also if you end up dying then you'll load back in to the nearest point checkpoint but there's no loading screen as long as you don't die you can open a door into another area and there's not going to be a loading screen so that's really nice it's very seamless that's one of the big things that really opened my eyes and uh, that was actually quite cool to be fair the next thing i want to speak about is my general thoughts on the game though apart from all you know the graphical downgrade and the performance issues you know those are slight things that can be fixed i don't know if they're gonna fix the up, up the graphics but i don't really care about that my honest opinion um the graphics won't really make a big difference for me being immersed in the game anyway that by that much for me anyway i know some people really really hate it when this happens and i kind of understand why but my general opinion on the division is that i actually think it's gonna suck and really if they don't fix a lot of the things that i mention it will suck and also the thing that bothers me the most is they are doing a third person shooter but they don't know whether it wants to be an rpg they've just thrown in rpg elements in there you know with stuff like enemies with levels and you also have you know your skill tree you have upgrades and stuff like that you know that's all cool with me but the issue that I've seen is main RPG and MMO issues that a lot of games will have is you, you get your bullet sponging enemies and you get your very silly AI. The AI in the division from what I played is not, you know, top notch AI. It's not clever AI at all. You know, they're, they're just going to be in cover. They're not really going to rush you unless you're right up on their face. They're not really flank you either. I haven't seen them flank at all so there's not really much to see there in the beta there's some trailers that came out showing us more of the beta but obviously no one's been able to play that so i really can't give a, a, a well thought out opinion on the core gameplay because of the very lackluster shit they gave us and it's very saddening actually i, I actually this is quite fishy it's quite annoying i think this is actually a bad move that they've done because the game's gonna be coming out in a month and they're not giving us more stuff to test out on so that means more work for them really uh but the close bet is around the corner so hopefully we do get more stuff apart from that i do not like the rpg aspect they're adding the main thing to talk about is bullet sponge enemies um i really hate bullet sponge enemies that rpgs tend to have but what's that you say bullet sponge enemies that's all rpgs right that, that's just an excuse for for rpgs no <laughs> it is not okay first thing first of all an rpg is a role-playing game right skyrim's an rpg witcher 3 is an rpg fallout 3 is an rpg okay now you get to play your character you get to role play your character now the word here being role play okay it's not bullet sponge enemies it's not you know the stuff that you usually see in the the, the gaming mmo uh, rpg niche that a lot of them seem to have you can't use that excuse an rpg for me you know you need to be immersed in your character it needs to work well and having stuff like bullet sponge enemies and ridiculous stupid ai doesn't make it immersive at all for me if you're emptying about 200 bullets into someone's head and they're not going down that's just annoying and it breaks immersion the other thing as well is pvp now pvp is also very annoying now if they don't fix pvp's balance what i've seen in the beta obviously i'm gonna keep repeating this is just beta gameplay this is not the actual game so pvp you know i said this in the first division video i did it suffers from the daisy syndrome 
this daisy syndrome is basically you know everyone's gonna shoot you on site um it doesn't matter what you're doing you're not gonna be working as a team most of the time and if you solo stuff like i like to do it's gonna be extremely hard because from the pvp gameplay i did play you are not gonna be able to succeed very much unless you're crazy crazy good at the game and that shouldn't be a big thing that shouldn't be how the game should be played like if you want to play solo it should be as easy to solo as it should be to co-op with someone now the extraction points that they have is a bit annoying because you go to one extraction point to extract stuff you'll have about 10 people waiting there already or if you go to another extraction points the extraction points are quite close together and you have about i think it's a minute and a half to wait for the chopper and extract given you know running from one extraction point to the other takes less than a minute for me just sprinting through so people just run to you and kill you there needs to be a balancing system put in place because the only way you're gonna be able to solo stuff in the dark zone is to go and party up with friends okay now i don't really want to I just want to solo the game so that's going to be a problem for me but if you want to be enjoying pvp then play with friends as well as you know playing single player as well it's quite fun playing with friends uh, the matchmaking system is actually quite quite nice it works very well um, people can just hop into your game obviously there's no loading screen people just pop into your game and you can just play with them or you can invite random people on the road to your group and assign them leader or sign yourself as leader and that's quite cool the uh, rogue system on the pvp though you know if you do end up killing someone um you go rogue the more people you kill your rogue level goes up and you lose more items you lose dark zone money so eh, that's not really a big thing i think if you die it should be more of a punishment so it's a slight balance to you know it makes people want to stop getting into conflict because if they do die they are losing more than they usually have they are losing you know stuff that is worth more to them in the game and that would kind of you know balance it slightly a little bit but there's other things they can obviously do but obviously that is the game developers challenge is to balance the game well that's what developers should be doing pushing those boundaries and trying to balance stuff instead of making generic content you know lastly though i mean for me personally i really think they need to work harder on the game um i'm gonna play the closed beta i'm not gonna buy the game at all i'm gonna wait for gameplay before i buy it when it was released there's not enough that we saw there's quite a few stuff i don't enjoy I think they should just stuck to a third person co-op shooter um, and just worked on an immersive storyline because the beta, the encounters and stuff that you could play after the mission, they're very repetitive. The gameplay may be repetitive if they don't make it better since you're just going to be clearing out enemies like most RPGs if they don't do anything about that. So yeah, that's my general opinions. Let me know what you think. Do you think it's going to suck? Do you think, you know, do you not agree with me? Do you think it's a great game let me know in the comments and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video hope you enjoyed my rant about the game saw him present a paper at columbia once he nearly started a riot he's part of this i need to talk to him anything of his you can find notebooks laptops close personal friends i need that too and we need to talk about live samples and antibodies you're gonna be busy and you'll be fixing this saving lives now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get started.